Hello guys, so welcome back to the 365 days Canva design challenge and today it's gonna be our day three and it's exciting because our topic will be about how to create your social media post on, um, on Canva. So if you're excited about this topic, it's now time for us to hop onto my screen. So if you can see my screen right now, um, it's gonna be our day three of the challenge and I chose this topic because uh, once we already know our brand color and we've already prepared our Facebook cover, which is day one and two, now it's time for us to optimize the timeline of our social media. So today it's gonna be about how to create your social media posts. Now, you might be asking why is social media post images important okay so i've gathered like four reasons why number one would be this is your business way of showing up and creating brand awareness number two the demand is high because of its time consuming nature number three the uh, this is the cheapest way to market without breaking the bank four we are in a generation where everyone's business is present online. So now that you know all this important factor, why social media posting is really important in a business, um, in the business marketing side of things. So now that you know all these four uh, important things um, about social media posts, the main problem here is this is a challenge for this busy entrepreneur. So um, for social media manager or strategist like me, um, this is an opportunity for me to solve because, you know, um, those business owners, they don't really have a lot of time to go on social media to create their graphics, to create their captions, to engage uh, with their audience, especially if they're a big company and they have a, lar a large following. But they don't have enough time to be there or um, be on a daily basis. Uh, so that's why um, if you know how to create posts or manage a social media, this can be an opportunity for you. So next will be the good thing about creating your post in Canva is that it's one of the easiest way to edit an image. So with that being said, I will be very honest because um, before I didn't really like to be a graphic designer just because I don't know how to use Photoshop. Uh, for me, it's just uh, it's too techy and complicated for someone like me. So since uh, ever since I uh, discovered Canva, that's when my creativity has opened up because finally there is a platform for me or someone uh, that don't know how to use Photoshop. So you can see here, uh, these are the things that you saw on my previous post. Maybe you can see it in the page. I created all of them in Canva. So if, so, if you're a social media manager, this topic is for you. So not actually, not just social media manager, but also if you're a freelancer and you're promoting yourself independently or maybe you have a small business and um, you don't have a social media manager, you can be the one to create those posts because it's so easy to create them in Canva. So, so to make this tutorial concise, I will create three sample posts um, here. So yesterday we, all, we also had... Um, a live tutorial and for this tutorial i will also do a three sample for you guys so let's hop in to the first post so one of the most um, used uh, type of design is the coats so here is a blank canvas and we are gonna try to create a post for this one so it says here perfection is not attainable but if, if we chase perfection we can catch excellence so let me go ahead and 
search for a picture that I want. So, um, let's, well, let's say this is the picture that I'm going to use. So, I'm just going to drag it here. So, usually I would lower the saturation and play with these adjustments. Okay, how about we just... Um, I'm get, since I'm gonna use my, my branding, it has to be dark. So let us add the coats here. Um, okay. So what I what what I would usually do is that I have I will have one. Um one keyword that i will highlight so let's say that one would be this word per section <laughs> so let me add it here and my colors so Just, let's just say I wanted to highlight that word and the rest is just a supporting text. So what I would do is just keep working on it until it becomes readable. <laughs> okay. Please bear with me as I edit this sample. So usually um, one of the elements that I really like is the, this one, the fade effect, because it allows me to use my um, use my colors let's grab that a little bit okay say So, I will add more because I want this part to be like a shadow effect uh, on it. So, once you're done, so position that back and then add more until you get the right amount of... Um, there you go. So, so, you can see now, um, you can read the text. Okay. I believe there is there could be a per person's name here, but I forgot to copy. So I'll just think they the remit soon the Latin text that we use but when we're creating a um, a template for codes. So let's say it's gonna be a name, so usually I like um, like a signature style for names. So let's say it's still not good. Okay, Madeline is 
pretty reasonable. So what I'm gonna do is mow this up. And then put um I just forgot to copy um who I'm coating, but yeah, let's just do it as a template. So there. And maybe we can add a quotation mark, a big quotation mark. This is our um, post for the day. The our code quotation post. So right now you can't see it uh, just because uh, we used uh, a dark background. But if I'm going to change this one, there you go. So um, this is the post that we created for the quotation. This is why also I told you that it's important to have a brand color because it's easier it's easier to conceptualize a post. So as for me, it looks like this. Okay. So next would be um uh, let's say for example a special day it's like International Women's Day. So let me look for a it's gonna be a challenge number two women's day women this one very proud so let's say this is the picture that we're gonna use um this is my favorite <laughs> this is my favorite uh in Canva, the remove background uh, feature. It's just because you know, I struggle with it um, in Photoshop, especially my hands are really shaky sometimes. So let's go and let's say. So this is my color. Okay. okay. Let me add this one. So usually this is just what I do. Uh, let's reserve it here. Um, just like what I thought yesterday. Maybe I would add a texture. There. How about this? Okay. So usually I put on texture just because sometimes when it's plain, I find, I find it really boring. So just to add a drama to my post. So send that backward. Now you have a texture there and then I'm going to add here a fade effect um a fade effect at the back of this girls that's too high let's wrap that a little bit okay there then i'm gonna change the color because violet is in is not on my brand color so, when I edit this video, I'm just going to add some music <laughs> so that you won't get bored. Okay. Let's just say that. Oh, that's it. 
So usually what um, I would add this one on the top there. So here it says International Women's Day. I'm going to look for a Let's just uh, go with a simpler design. So let's say Bebas would be the international, and the Women's Day would be another. Um, would be another. Another font style. Okay. Um, I'm gonna add this. Uh, this one works, I think. So, um, gonna add no, maybe this one. I hope you can see how I um, created this design because. I don't really have a specific style. I just do a lot of experimentation whenever I'm designing. There's just no manual about it. There is an easy way for you to design. That's going to be it. So let's say I want this to be more readable. So I would add some lift. So for you guys who might be asking, this uh, some of the feature that I'm using is uh, only available if uh, if you are on Canva Pro, which is a very good investment for me because I always get the return, the ROI of my subscription because I use it uh, on a daily basis. To my job, to my own post, something like that. So. Say there's a tagline here. I don't know what day this. Um, I don't know the date of International Women's Day. Let's say it's a uh, year 2021. So maybe we can add some date here. Right. So I forgot the date for International Women's Day. So I'm just gonna say add the date here. Okay. So, what's missing will be this color. So, maybe I'm gonna add. Well, let's just say it's a box. Um, in order for me to balance. So, there you go. <laughs> so that I can still see my colors. I just added this here. Uh, so yeah, we're done with the International Women's Day post. So for you to see it better, I'm gonna. So yeah, that's gonna uh, what it looks like um, once we post it on Facebook. Especially, I'm not on day mode. I mean, on night mode. So now let's go to live event. This is gonna be the last one. Thank you for. Uh, staying till the end so live events say for example there's a podcast um, um, men let's say men will be the host of this event so let's say this man
Okay. So this live event is usually used when we are promoting a certain event that's coming. So there are a lot of type of social media posts. It's just that today I planned that this is going to be uh, what I wanted to post or wanted to feature, which is the live event posting. So let's add um, texture. Really big on texture because without it, I feel like um, I feel like my design is not too sharp. Just because I don't have any texture on my design, but some people love really uh, simple designs. Like if, especially if your client is minimalist, they just like soft things. Um, and not this kind of uh, designs. For me, since my designs are pretty um, sharp and edgy, um, I like having I like having textures on my design. So let me add contrast to that. Okay, and position back. Now, um, we're going to add the details of the event. So, I'm going to add um, the social media polls. So let's say, for example, this is the title of the event. Like, this is the, they call this the This is our podcast. So usually what I would do is make this one different. So for a lot of times, um, I always, uh, I always choose um, fonts the longest time. So if you have like an official font. I would say like stay the uh, just stick to it so that it can save time and like man I'm not prepared to have an official font to, for this certain uh, for this certain uh, tutorial so say for example that's the event and the title of the the title of it's like a tagline of the event to say for example there next would be we're gonna add the live at 6 p.m so maybe let's let's make it bold make it all caps. There we go. Okay. Five at six p.m. and then let's say we're gonna highlight this episode. Okay, so I wanted the 6 p.m. to be more um, emphasized here, so I'm going to change the color. And then we're going to add red. So now, let's just say, for example, you're on episode 38. It's like a podcast thing. And you're promoting it on social media. So yeah. There and then um what else? Um if you'd like you can add some geometric shape just to you know add some fonts. Um 
This one is one of my favorite. Maybe you can add it here. Drop it a little. Okay. Down. And send it back. Forward. And I don't know if it looks. What do you think that is? Should we just put him on dark mode? Well, <laughs> um, or this one. This one or this one? Okay. I think um, let's lessen the saturation and then add contrast so that the man would be more sharp in our poster. So, yeah. I think that's it. I think that's it. So, if you can see, um, it's gonna look like this when we post it on social media. So, I hope you learned something today. Um, we've had some examples of posts like this one, the code cards, and here is like a special holidays like International Women's Day post. And the last one, if we have live events, we can just edit them also in Canva. So that's it for today. I hope that uh, day three has helped you to create your social media posts because they are very um, important. And yeah, thank you for always watching my tutorial and see you tomorrow for our day number four. Thank you.